Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. I have started a new video series on uh, um, building a, a real-time data analysis uh, application. Okay, this is third video in that uh, video series. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, how to set up the environment for uh, real-time data analysis application. Okay, so let us go through. So first thing is you need to set up the Hadoop environment. Okay, to set up Hadoop environment, okay, so you can actually I am using a Ubuntu version, Ubuntu operating system, Linux operating system, Ubuntu version 18.04. Okay, so you can actually uh, prefer any uh, uh, any Linux operating system. Okay, so uh, I am using a Ubuntu. Uh, first thing is uh, then again the uh, setting up environment can be uh, your local virtual machine or can be in cloud or uh, whatever okay on your uh, <coughs> uh, direct uh, dual, uh, uh, dual OS in your laptop uh, having a Ubuntu okay that you can choose whatever the option you want to choose okay I already set up a virtual machine uh, uh, in my laptop and I have installed uh, Hadoop also in my laptop so I will add the I have I prepared a video for the same I actually I will add the, uh, the videos link in this uh, description section of this this video okay so next thing is setting up the hive and MySQL okay so MySQL I'm going to store the in this application this real time data analysis application I'm going to store the uh, the process data or aggregated data in the MySQL right so I need a MySQL database okay and also I will be in future. Uh, 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 future additional features in this application I'm going to use the hive so I'm going to install hive also okay I already installed hive as well as mysql in my virtual machine so I prepared the video for the same so I'll be uh, adding the video link in my uh, description of this video okay please go through it okay so first you need to set up the uh, Apache Hadoop uh, then uh, Apache hive and mysql then third is comes uh, uh, the Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka is a uh, distributed messaging system. Okay, it's a publish subscribe uh, uh, um, uh, style of uh, uh, messaging system. Okay, it's not like uh, 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 any uh, message queuing system. It's a publish subscribe messaging system. Okay, so let's see uh, how to install the uh, Apache Kafka in Ubuntu uh, 18.04. Okay, so uh, let's go through it. Okay, first thing is you just uh, navigate to the uh, the you can Google it. The, you can go to the Google and uh, type Apache uh, Kafka download. So it will actually open the download uh, uh, <coughs> download version of the uh, so download page of the uh, Apache Kafka. It's, a, it's a open source. Okay, you can just go to this page. Okay, you can download the uh, whatever the version you want to do. So basically, I want to download the latest version. So I'm actually clicking uh, uh, this one. So I'm going to click the uh, latest version, um, Apache Kafka, which is the, uh, the Scala version 2.12. Okay, so the version is uh, <coughs> 2.3. Okay, so I will download this uh, binary version, which is compressed to this uh, TZZ format. Okay, so click on that. So once you click on this link, so it will open this link, the mirror uh, website of this uh, compressed file. Once you click on this, it will pop up to download the tzz file okay the compressed file just save it in your local so it will go to the uh, download folder of your uh, uh, operating system open to operating system go to this download page and uh, just find out uh, just look for this file okay it's a uh, kafka underscore 2.12 iphone 2.3.0.tzz okay once you find this file, uh, you can place it anywhere. Uh, basically, I want to put it in all my softwares in my software folders. I'll take this file and put it in the softwares. So next, uh, we need to extract this and actually do the configuration. Then you can run the Kafka broker. Okay. So Kafka can be set up set up as a uh, cluster. Okay. So if you have multi nodes, you can actually set up this Kafka as a multi node cluster. Okay. I am going to use the single node cluster. Okay, single node Kafka broker. Okay, so it will create a topic and uh, just publish message and uh, subscribe the message. Okay, so now we next step is you have to uh, extract it. So uh, in this path, I am in the uh, home directory. Inside home directory, I have a directory called data making. Uh, and uh, inside data making, I have a folder called softwares. Inside that, I place the uh, Kafka compressed file. I can extract, I am going to extract it using the tar command. Tar uh, space iPhone xvzf and followed by the tar file 
once you do this it will get extracted and you can do ls and see the extracted folder so once you fold we have to do few configurations just go to the uh, navigate to this folder inside that you will find a folder called config open that uh, just to once if you go to the folder you will have will file multiple uh, <coughs> property files okay first you go to the server dot properties okay open in uh, use the you can use any editor i am using nano editor you can go open va editor or whatever whichever you are comfortable okay i open in nano editor i will open this okay so what configure you can do many configurations so basically i want actually uh, by default uh, the delete topic so whenever you create a topic topic is nothing a placeholder or container you can place your messages in that okay so uh, the, the if you look at the publish subscribe the producer will publish the message to the topic and the consumer will uh, uh, one or multiple consumer uh, go and mess, consume the message from the topic so if you want to create a topic you, you cannot delete it by default that settings by the by, by default the setting is you cannot delete the topic but actually i want to uh, delete some of the topic so i just make this property delete dot topic dot enabled equal to true so that you will be able to delete the topic do this change and save it so in the nano editor i'll just do control o and uh, for uh, uh, saving it and then control x exiting after it so i'll come out okay next thing is i am going to uh, uh, make the uh, zookeeper so kafka in the kafka architecture uh, uh, zookeeper is uh, must because between uh, uh, the producer and consumers uh, uh, the, the coordination is uh, taken care by the kafka uh, zookeeper service so we need a zookeeper service so for zookeeper and kafka i am going to create a um, the system service so whenever the system boots up uh, i need to start the zookeeper first and uh, um, component first and then i am going to i need to start the kafka uh, the broker okay or kafka server okay so i am going to create a two uh, system service okay uh, so for that you can just create this unit file okay you can just put it in this path so etc slash slash etc slash system uh, uh, d slash system slash zookeeper dot uh, uh, service so this will be a file which is unit file which will be created inside that okay it will because you are using the system location you just use the sudo and give the password and i'm going to create this unit file so what this unit file says is basically you need to provide before this service is there any service to be uh, running just give this uh, uh, the network service uh, Echo service after this he, he, this is your uh, service tag inside that you have to provide this uh, what is the type of service simple service and which user is going to run this uh, service so you can uh, hear it kafka uh, given user actually based on the your user name you can give your user name because if you use different user name it it will it may not start okay just give this uh, user name which has a pseudo permission so that it will go and start it and then uh, which uh, uh, the cell script it wants to start the service file right so basically the zookeeper uh, uh, to start the zookeeper uh, zookeeper iphone -server, server iphone start dot sh that's a, that's a file which will start the uh, zookeeper service so it needs the config file just provide that okay uh, then uh, if you want to stop it there is another uh, shell script called zookeeper iphone server iphone stop dot sh you can just give that stop it okay this is a simple unit file you just save this file and then similarly for kafka service you have to create a, uh, a unit file for kafka service you open this file okay and then uh, place this uh, 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 information so basically you need to say uh, before request uh, zookeeper service zookeeper service should be up to run your uh, to run your actually uh, the kafka service so that's what you are giving request and after this one only you are going to start the kafka service so what is this type of service simple service and what is the user which is going to start this uh, kafka server it's a kafka user but uh, uh, you can just give uh, whatever the user which has pseudo permission based on your environment this is very important okay then uh, this is the uh, shell script which is going to start this kafka server uh, Kafka, uh, you need to provide this entire path uh, correctly, otherwise it will not work. Uh, please always uh, uh, keep in mind that this uh, the cell script file which you provide here to start the Kafka server, please give the full path. The Kafka iPhone server iPhone uh, start.sh is the uh, cell script which is going to start the Kafka service. 
and to provide the uh, configuration file the server dot uh, property file uh, to start the kafka service and then for stop you have to use the kafka dot, kafka hyphen server hyphen uh, uh, stop dot sh okay uh, then it will stop the uh, the particular uh, uh, sorry start the kafka service so once uh, uh, this is being system service you can enable the uh, this service okay the kafka services uh, basically the kafka the service name i given as uh, kafka okay how it will take is basically the kafka dot service you giving right this is a service name okay dot service so you are enabling the service when on system control and then uh, you now you are starting this kafka service so using the system uh, uh, seat control start start space kafka it is starting okay so i want to say uh, set this uh, uh, kafka uh, um, home in environment variable just open this uh, uh, the using the nano editor open this file called a dot bash rc inside your home folder to access home folder just given uh, tilde slash dot bash rc then set this kafka home so basically kafka export kafka home equal to the entire path of your uh, the the extracted folder okay then set the path add to the path variable by saying path equal to uh, uh, double quote dollar path colon dollar uh, kafka home slash bin double quote this will set the environment variable for kafka home so once you set this refresh the save and uh, uh, reload the refresh the uh, bash rc file using the source command once you refresh that's it you can just check the status as running the kafka is running now so we'll just create a simple uh, um, topic and we'll just try to publish some message and check okay to verify the uh, port is running correctly you can just put uh, a netstat iphone netstat space iphone pl ntu it will just show you the uh, list of uh, services running on different tcp ports so for uh, kafka the default uh, tcp port is 9092 it's running and the uh, default port the tcp port for uh, zookeeper is 2181 so that's also running so it's perfect now you can just create a so if you want to see the list of existing uh, topics available in this you just give the kafka iphone topics dot sh space iphone list space iphone zookeeper uh, space uh, uh, localhost 2181 zookeeper if you ask zookeeper to list down the topics it list currently no topic just create this topic to create a topic this is the command kafka iphone topics dot sh space iphone uh, create iphone iphone create iphone iphone zookeeper provide the zookeeper uh, uh, host name and port number and i am setting the replication factors one and partition as one because uh, replication factor because i have only one node so i can set only one uh, partition also i am setting one and uh, iphone iphone topic provide the topic name my topic name is here sample topic so once it is created so i am going to use the uh, just list command to see that topic it is created now uh, to test the uh, topic so we have uh, uh, kafka giving a command line producer and uh, consumer so that you can test your topic so i am running this uh, command line producer uh, kafka iphone console iphone producer dot sh uh, space uh, uh, brokers list which is uh, uh, your bootstrap server or kafka server uh, so ip address and our host name colon the port number 9092 and space iphone topic iphone iphone topic the topic name sample topic so once you do this it will open this uh, prompt like that you can um, uh, greater than symbol and you can type some message you can just say hi apache kafka or hello apache kafka and uh, there is another window which where i opened the kafka producer uh, to run your kafka sorry kafka consumer to run a kafka consumer you have you can use the command called uh, kafka if for console iphone consumer.sh okay then space uh, um, iphone iphone bootstrap server um, then uh, provide your uh, the url sorry the host name and port number uh, local host 9092 and the topic name and from beginning so basically you want to take it from beginning or latest you can provide so if you don't provide anything this pro this property if you don't provide this property it will just get the only the latest message which is published in that topic so from beginning uh, because it's the first time i'm creating so i'm just given the uh, this topic is created newly so i'm just giving the iphone iphone 
uh, from iPhone beginning. So just whatever the published in the previous uh, uh, window, so which is uh, um, Kafka producer, that message is being published here. So we are able to consume the message here. So Kafka is uh, working fine. Now we'll actually in the next video, we'll move back and install the Apache Spark and uh, uh, Cassandra and other uh, related uh, uh, components which we are using in this project. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and watch my video, provide your feedback. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.